Today I'm going to go over the reasons why I personally bought the original Canon 6D and why you may want to as well. The first and main reason why I bought the original 6D is just simply because of money. I had about $2,000 saved for a full frame camera, but then life came up and next thing I knew I only had about half that, even less actually. Right now you can buy the 6D used on B&H's site, uh, Adorama, eBay for about $1,000, a little bit less. I got mine for $950 and I had a bunch of gift cards so I only ended up spending about $750 out of pocket. That is not a lot for a semi-modern full frame camera. The second reason is the primary reason why I wanted a full frame camera, and that's because I wanted to test full frame lenses on this channel. And I didn't want to do that just with a crop sensor body because I'd be missing about half the information. Third is because Canon released the 6D Mark II, and from what I've been hearing, it's not that great of a camera, and the original 6D even does better in low light. I can't say that for sure because I haven't tried it yet, but that's just what I've been hearing. And I did not want to spend $2,000 on a camera that gets slightly worse performance than the original 6D for $750 out of pocket. So those are the reasons why I bought the camera. Now that I have it, I actually have a different opinion than when I was actually buying it. When I was buying it, I wasn't actually that excited about it. I was just like, oh, I'm getting a full frame camera, it'll be fine, whatever, I'll get something better later. But now that I have it, I'm actually very excited it is much better than I thought it would be. I definitely got a lot of camera for $750. The first thing that surprised me was that there was Wi-Fi built in, so that was definitely exciting. Second was how quiet the shutter is. It's extremely quiet. It's much quieter than any of the Nikons and Canons that I've been shooting with lately. I shoot theatrical performances every once in a while, and it's always really embarrassing and I feel really bad with my shutter clicking away during the performance. Another thing that benefits this specific purpose as well is the low light capability. I tested it side by side with my 70D, and it is a huge upgrade. I was able to take it in low light situations and shoot at ISO 6400 happily. One of the things that was bugging me about the 6D was that it only had 11 autofocus points. It kind of felt like I was holding a Rebel, and that's not what a full frame camera is supposed to feel like. But over time, I just kind of got used to it. I usually only use the center autofocus point, and I don't even notice it anymore. It's definitely not as big of a deal as I was making it out to be. As for the rest of the specs, they're not too bad. The 20 megapixel sensor is definitely below most modern cameras, but it's not too bad, and it will definitely get the job done. The 4.5 frames per second is pretty sad, and it doesn't have the biggest buffer in the world, but I'm not going to use this camera for sports photography. I'll just use my 70D. The GPS is something new for me because my 70D didn't have it, and I'm kind of excited to see how it works. It's not that big of a deal, but it could be cool. Last, I'm just enjoying full frame. I love the wider angles on my lenses. I love all of the shallow depth of field. I love the better low light performance. And overall, I'm just enjoying it. So that, I think that's the most important part. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think below. If you think I made a good choice, if you think I made a terrible choice, or if you think there's just something better out there. See you later.